The Green Party of Canada ran a full slate of 308 candidates in the 2006 Canadian federal election. Some of these candidates have separate biography pages. Relevant information about other candidates may be found here. The candidates are listed by province and riding name. Topic: Prince Edward Island. Topic: Sharon Labchuk Malpec. She previously ran for the Green Party in the 2004 federal election, also in Malpec, but lost to Wayne Easter of the Liberal Party of Canada. Labchuk received 1,037 votes to Easter's 9,782. Topic. Nova Scotia Topic. Chris Milburn, Sydney, Victoria Milburn is a physician. He was born in Sydney, Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia, and trained in emergency and family medicine at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. He held several medical positions in and around the Kingston area after graduating, including a stint as a clinic doctor in Lansdowne after the small community lost its previous doctor, KWS, the 22nd of November 2000. Milburn is also a skilled athlete, and has participated in several triathlons. He was a member of the Kingston Whig Standards Community Editorial Board in the late 1990s, and frequently contributed to its columns KWS, the 11th of October 2000. Milburn joined the Green Party shortly before the 2000 federal election, and campaigned in the Ontario riding of Kingston and the Islands. He emphasized health issues, and wrote against the privatization of prescription medicine KWS, 1 November 2000. He received 2,652 votes 5.18%, the best showing for a Green candidate outside of British Columbia. Milburn defeated Fred Perrell to win the Green Party of Ontario nomination for Kingston and the Islands in the 2003 provincial election KWS, 9 October 2002, but left for a job in New Brunswick shortly before the campaign KWS, 8 September 2003. At the time of the 2004 election, Milburn was a physician with the emergency unit at Cape Breton Regional Hospital, Medical Post, 15 June 2004. He had recently purchased the historic site of the old city hospital, where he planned to build a green neighborhood. He was 34 years old. 1. He received 855 votes, finishing fourth. As of 2005, Milburn is the GPC's healthcare advocate. 2. Topic. Nick Wright, Halifax. Nick Wright ran in the Halifax riding and received 1948 votes, 3.9% of the popular vote in a riding dominated by longtime NDP candidate Alexa McDonough. Topic: Quebec. Topic. Adam Zomerfeld, Long A. Pierre Boucher. Zomerfeld is both a young politician and a veteran environmental activist. While in high school, he started the LEAF, Lisgar Environmental Action Force organization, and affiliated it with the Sierra Youth Coalition. 
He was also active with the OPIRG affiliated group Enviro Action while attending the University of Ottawa. 3. He holds a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from Concordia University in Montreal. 4. He joined the Green Party of Canada in 2000 at age 18, and campaigned under its banner in the 2000 federal election. 5. The 2006 campaign was his third for the party. Topic. Ontario Topic. Beaches East York, Jim Harris Jim Harris was the leader of the Green Party of Canada. Topic. Brampton Springdale, Ian Raymond Chiokio. Chiokio holds a Bachelor of Business Administration degree from Brock University, and completed a two year management training program with a Fortune 500 company. 6. He was assistant manager of the Brock University pub, and as of 2006 is the co owner of a landscaping business. 7. He received 1,853 votes, 3.93%, finishing fourth against Liberal incumbent Ruby Dalla. Topic. Brandt, Adam King Adam King was born in London, Ontario. He spent most of his childhood and teenage years in Bangladesh, where his family worked for a Baptist non-governmental organization, and he became interested in social issues at an early age. King's family returned to Canada in 1999, and he later took a Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science from York University 2007. He was 23 years old during the 2006 campaign. King has also run for the Brantford City Council. He served on the City of Brantford's Heritage Committee, Planning Department, and Cultural Network from 2006 to 2008, and in 2007 he started an ethical coffee chain. Topic. Bruce Gray Owen Sound Shane Jolly Shane Jolly ran the most successful Green Party campaign in the 2006 election. Topic. Carlton Mississippi Mills, Jake Cole Jake Cole has lived in Kanata with his wife and two children for over 28 years. He is an active member of the local community, volunteering with the Scouts Canada Kanata branch, the Canadian Mental Health Association, the Earl of March Secondary School Parents Council, and coaching community baseball, soccer and hockey. Educated as a civil engineer in Ottawa, Jake has spent more than 30 years working as a public servant for the federal government. In that time, he has led the Canadian contingent on the International Energy Agency's projects in solar, wind, and renewable energy. He also led Canada's R2000 Home Energy Programme, created and led a unique health and well-being programme for 11,000 federal employees and currently manages the Canadian Coast Guard's environmental programme. As a long-standing community member, Jake has been very active in a variety of campaigns and grassroots political movements. In 1990, Jake Cole helped form the first Green Party of Canada chapter in Kanata. Jake has been an active campaigner against cosmetic pesticides use on lawns and playing fields. Jake is the communication advisor for the Canadian Organic Growers. Jake made submissions to the Kirby and Romanow Health Commissions. Jake actively campaigns for health promotion programs. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Eglinton, Lawrence, Patrick Metzger. Metzger holds an Honours Bachelor of Arts degree in French and English Literature from the University of Western Ontario, and a Master of Business Administration from the Richard Ivey School of Business. He worked 15 years in the banking and brokerage industry, including experience with Merrill Lynch in Hong Kong. Eight. After returning to Canada in 2001, he changed careers and became a writer and television producer. Nine. His credits include Karma Trekkers, World of Wealth, and Picture This. 10. He received 2,520 votes, 5.12%, finishing fourth against Liberal incumbent Joe Volpe. Topic: <inaudible> Atobico Lakeshore, Philip Ridge. Philip Ridge ran against Michael Ignatieff, who later became the leader of the Liberal Party. Philip comes from a diverse background of engineering and marketing and currently owns Ridge Energy Consultants Inc. www.ridge.ca and the energy store www.thenergystore.ca Philip successfully increased Green Party votes by a high percentage. His main thrust was educating the voters on the amount of toxins produced in the riding, the highest in Toronto. Topic. Halliburton, Kawatha Lakes, Brock, Andy Hardula. Andy Hardula was born in Finland and moved to Ontario as a child. He has a diploma in forestry from Lakehead University in Thunder Bay and a master's degree in forestry from Colorado State University. He moved to Cavan, Ontario, in 1988. Hardula worked for the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources for 27 years, accepting retirement when Mike Harris's government made cutbacks to the department. He has coordinated the establishment and operations of provincial parks and done landscape work. In 2006, he was a director of the Victoria Lands and Water Stewardship Council and the Otenby Conservation Foundation. He was 63 years old when he was nominated as a Green Party candidate in 2005. He was a member of the Conservative Party of Canada and its antecedents before joining the Greens. Himself a gun owner, he supported the Canadian Firearms Registry in the 2006 election, saying, If they are stolen, I'd like them returned. After the 2006 federal election, Hardula said that he would not seek federal office again. He ran for a council seat in Cavan in 2006 and 2010, finishing a close second both times. Topic. Hamilton Center, John Livingston Livingston was born in Hamilton. He is a 22-year veteran of the Canadian Army and has served overseas in Germany and the Golan Heights, where he saw two tours of duty with the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. He was 52 years old at the time of the election, and was operations director for a local branch of the Canadian Corps of Commissioners. 11. Before joining the Green Party, he volunteered for the Liberals, Hamilton Spectator, 13 January 2006. He received 2,022 votes, 4.23%, finishing fourth against New Democratic Party incumbent David Christopherson. Topic. Kingston and the Islands, Eric Walton 
Walton was born in Ottawa, and grew up in the Middle East, Asia and Europe, Kingston Whig Standard, 21 January 2006. He received an Honours Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Studies from Queen's University in 1983. He is a co-founder of Odyssey Travel and Logkit Inc., both of which he later sold. In 1992, he co-produced and directed Ancient Futures Learning from Ladakh, filmed on site in northern India. 12. Walton was the part-time agency director of the Kingston Environmental Action Project from 1986 to 1994 KWS, the 7th of January 2006, and was active in community affairs. He helped to relaunch the Kingston branch of the Green Party in 1992, KWS, the 23rd of November 1992, and was drafted to campaign for the Green Party of Ontario in 2003 when designated candidate Chris Milburn moved to Nova Scotia. Walton won the 2006 GPC nomination in late 2004, over George Clark and Queen's Law student Danny Gold KWS, 10 November 2004. He was endorsed by the Kingston Whig Standard newspaper during the campaign the 21st of January 2006. As of 2007, he is the business manager of a medical clinic and the Green Party of Canada shadow cabinet advocate, critic for industry and entrepreneurship. Topic: <laughs> Kitchener Centre, Tony Maas. Tony Maas was the federal Green Party candidate for the Kitchener Centre electoral district in Ontario in the 2006 elections. He received 5.6% of the vote in 2,822 of 50,194 votes cast. Lanark Frontenac Lennox and Addington, Mike Nickerson Nickerson born 1951, is a longtime environmental activist. He was a co-director of the Institute for the Study of Cultural Evolution in the 1970s, and helped produce its guideposts for a sustainable future in 1974. In 1977, the background studies which led to the guideposts were published as Change the World I Want to Stay On. He was a founding member of the Green Party of Canada in 1983, and campaigned under its banner in the 1984 federal election. His mother, Betty Nickerson, was the first ever GPC candidate in a 1983 by-election, Ottawa Citizen, 2 January 2006. In 1988, he spoke out against the proposed Canada-United States Free Trade Agreement, Toronto Star, 19 November 1988. He completed production of the Guideposts for a Sustainable Future video in 1990, and published his second book, Planning for Seven Generations, in 1993-13. He is near completion of a third book entitled Life, Money and Illusion, and has composed several articles on environmentalism and economics. 14. In 2001, Nickerson collaborated with Liberal Member of Parliament Joe Jordan to create the Canada Wellbeing Measurement Act, Kingston Whig Standard, the 21st of February 2001. In 2002, he wrote an article criticizing the provincial government of Ernie Eves for imposing a freeze on hydro rates. Nickerson supported the energy policies of the previous government of Mike Harris, which he argued encouraged conservation by forcing consumers to pay higher rates. 15. Nickerson is a woodworker in private life. 16. Topic Leeds, Grenville, David Lee David Lee was born on February 18, 1968. 
David was raised in Barry and Peterborough, Ontario, where he served as an infantry scout, and later, still 17, as a squad leader in the Hastings and Prince Edward Mechanized Infantry Regiment. He then put himself through school as a door-to-door -door salesman earning a BA in Literature, History, and Critical Theory from Trent University. After graduation he traveled and then became a tradesman. At the age of 26 David spent a year with two friends deep in the woods of the Smoky Mountains of northern Georgia building a log cabin from scratch, living off the land without electricity, and farming its adjacent field. Upon his return David earned a diploma in script writing from Algonquin College. His first screenplay, the autobiographical story of two young men who embark on an adventure-filled road trip in search of J.D. Salinger, was optioned by CTV. In 1999 David was a government conference reporter, a screenwriter, and a semi-pro lacrosse player. In a pre-season and pre-contract insurance game, David's lower back was permanently damaged. After his surgery he returned to school to earn an M.A. in political science. David has lived all over North America before settling in Nepean Carlton on a farm south of Ottawa in the mid-1990s. Since 2001, David has done contract work for several government ministries. Most recently he has worked as a communications officer covering Russia, and the Iraq War for the Department of Foreign Affairs. When David was recovering from his surgeries he taught himself how to sing, play harmonica, and sketch. He has replaced athletics and camping with political philosophy and analysis, songwriting, and other indoor intellectual and artistic pursuits. He also volunteers for moderate environmental groups, disability advocates, and his church where he sings in the choir. He is currently writing his first novel. In 2005 David rebuilt the Leeds Grenville Federal Green Party Association, and won the nomination for the 2006 election. A rookie and parachute candidate, he still managed a top 40 result, increasing his party's 2004 vote by over 40%. Topic. Nepean Carlton, Laurie Gadzala She is a businesswoman from Manatic, Ontario having lived there for 10 years, and previously lived in Gloucester, Ontario. A graduate of Algonquin College, Laurie runs her own private company South River Partners, a technology marketing writing and communications firm. She has previously worked for Cisco Systems, Nokia, Alcatel, and Gandalf Technologies. Laurie and her husband have received honorable mentions from the Rideau Valley Conservation Authority, and Laurie is a brownie leader in her hometown, in addition to other community activities. Campaign website Riding profile Laurie's blog Topic. New Market Aurora, Glen Hubbers Glenn Hubbers is a professional engineer and project manager who has been working in the energy industry since 1989 after graduating from McMaster University with a Bachelor of Engineering. Glenn was instrumental in founding the new market. Aurora Federal Green Party Association, 17, in 2005. The 39th Canadian general election was Glenn's first time running for federal office. Glenn earned 4.74% of the popular vote, placing fourth to liberal incumbent Belinda Stronach. Glenn won the nomination contest in 2007 and earned 8.2% of the popular vote in the 40th Canadian general election. 
Glenn maintains a personal blog which can be found at http colon slash slash www.hovers.ca. Newmarket Aurora Federal Green Party Association Glenn's blog Federal Election Results Topic Ottawa West Nepian, Neil Adair Adair is a businessman, chemist and web designer. Raised in Ottawa, he attended Carleton University and worked for eight years at the Canadian Conservation Institute as an analytical chemist. He then worked for Vickers Instruments for four years, including three years in Santa Clara, California. Desiring a change in life, he moved to the Dominican Republic to begin a windsurfing business. He remained in that country for ten years, starting three businesses and one charity. His windsurfing business was operated by solar panels and a wind generator, 18. Adair returned to Ottawa in 2001, and expressed an interest in working with solar and wind power, 19. Since then, he has undertaken extensive web design work for the Green Party, 20. Adair has campaigned for the Federal Party twice, and has also been a candidate of the Green Party of Ontario. Topic. Peterborough, Brentwood. Brent Wood born in Burlington, Ontario. He has a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Guelph, a Master of Arts degree from Trent University, and a PhD from the University of Toronto. He has taught English at Toronto and Trent, with a focus on Canadian writers, and has also served on the executive of the Canadian Union of Public Employees Local 3908 at Trent. In 2004, he was a member of Peterborough's Parks and Recreation Board. He ran for the Peterborough City Council in 2003, opposing the extension of a local parkway. He has been a Green Party candidate in two federal elections. Topic. Richmond Hill, Tim Rudkins Tim Rudkins won 2,379 votes for 57 percent. Topic: Saint Catharines, Jim Fannin. See article on Jim Fannin. Topic: Simcoe. Gray, Peter Ellis Ellis is a businessman and teacher. He holds a Master of Science degree from McGill University in Montreal, began his career as a biology teacher, and was a school principal for two years at Baffin Island in the Northwest Territories. Ellis has been president of Peachtree Manufacturing Limited in 1986, and has served on the CNIB Simcoe, Muskoka District Board and the Halton Regional Conservation Authority, 21-22. He first campaigned for the Green Party in Simcoe, Gray in the 2004 election. Topic. Scarborough Southwest, Valerie Phillip Phillip is a graduate of the Marketing and Business Program at Seneca College, and worked for a number of years in the corporate world. She is now an aromatherapist, treating patients with AIDS and other serious diseases. 23. She received 1,827 votes 4.38%, finishing fourth against Liberal incumbent Tom Wapple. Topic. Scarborough Guildwood, Mike Flanagan 
Flanagan is a graduate of the University of Waterloo, with a degree in psychology, and minors both in history and criminology, legal studies. He received 1,235 votes 3%, finishing fourth against Liberal incumbent John Mackay politician. He currently serves as a director for the Toronto Vegetarian Association. Topic. Sudbury, Joey Mathay Joey Mathay was 18 years old at the time of the election, and was in his first year of public relations studies at Cambrian College. He is bilingual in English and French, and has promoted youth events focused on Franco-Ontarian culture. During the election, he described Pierre Trudeau as his favorite Canadian politician. He received 1,301 votes 2 finishing fourth against Liberal incumbent Diane Marlowe. Thornhill, Lloyd Helferty Lloyd Helferty was born in 1972 in Windsor and grew up in Richmond Hill, where he lived until moving to Thornhill in December 2003. Lloyd graduated from the RCC School of Electronics Technology as an Honours Electronics Technologist in 1995. Lloyd Helferty sits on the executive of the Green Party of Ontario as central representative. He also sits on the executive of the Richmond Hill Naturalists Club. In 2004, Helferty received 1,622 votes 3 His main opponent was Liberal incumbent Susan Cadiz. Topic. Toronto Centre, Chris Tyndall Chris Tyndall, born June 3, 1981, was a candidate for Ward 27 in the 2010 Toronto municipal election. He was the Green Party of Canada's candidate for the House of Commons of Canada in Toronto Centre in the 2006 federal election and again in a March 17, 2008 by-election in which he placed third with 13.6% of the vote, ahead of the Conservative candidate. He holds a Bachelor of Arts in Radio and Television from Ryerson University. He is also a musician with two albums to his credit. Tyndall is an interactive media producer and former vice president of the Ontario Recreational Canoeing Association, and has lived in Toronto Centre since 2000. He serves on the board of directors of a boys and girls residential summer camp, and is a contributor to Torontoist, a community blog. Tyndall was the Democratic Reform Advocate for the Green Party of Canada until August 2008. Tyndall is a co-author of a realistic energy plan for Toronto. Electoral record Topic. Wellington Halton Hills, Brent Butler. Butler received a Bachelor of Engineering degree from Carleton University in 1990, and has been involved in a variety of focus groups concerned with transportation issues. He is an entrepreneur, and has operated a model train shop near Fergus, Ontario since 1998. He joined the Green Party in 1999, and has campaigned for both its federal and provincial wings. In 2003, he campaigned for municipal office. Butler is 37 years old as of 2005, and lives outside of Fergus. He was the GPC's candidate for the 2006 federal election, 24. The 2003 municipal result is taken from the Kitchener-Waterloo record, 12 November 2003, B8. 
The final official results were not significantly different. Topic. Whitby Oshawa, A.J. Krishnan Krishnan was born in India and raised in Kuwait, and moved to Canada with his family at the start of the 1991 Gulf War. He holds a degree in engineering science from the University of Toronto, and is a co-founder and vice president of engineering for Savitsa Inc., an e-learning software company. He was 23 years old during the election, and describes his political background as center-right. 25, he received 2,407 votes, 3.60%, finishing fourth against conservative candidate Jim Flaherty. Topic. Windsor Tecumseh, Catherine Pluid. Catherine was born in Sarnia, Ontario, in 1972, and graduated from Lambton College with a diploma in early childhood education in 2000. She moved to Windsor four years ago to attend university, and at the time of the election was completing a joint BSW degree program in social work and women's studies. Catherine also served as a substitute educator at a community day nursery, and was a single mother of an eight-year-old daughter. Catherine is a community activist who is often involved in women's and environmental issues. In previous years Catherine had contributed to the organizing of the December 6 Memorial Vigil, assisted with organizing, Take Back the Night marches and other consciousness-raising activities. She was a student representative on both the Women's Studies Curriculum Committee and the Women's Studies Advisory Committee. She was also the representative for joint majors in her degree program in both the Social Work Students Association and the Women's Studies Student Association Topic. Windsor West, Jelana Bishop Bishop was born in Windsor, and graduated with honours from Massey Secondary School, Windsor Star, 19 December 2005. She was 24 years old during the election, and worked as a machine operator at Haas Precision Corporation, Windsor Star, 10 January 2006. She declined to use campaign signs, arguing that they consume resources and pollute the landscape. Star, the 9th of December 2005. She received 1,444 votes, 3.03 percent, finishing fourth against New Democratic Party incumbent Brian Mass. Topic: Manitoba. Topic: Mike Johansson, Charleswood Street, James, a Cineboya. Johansson, born in St. James, Manitoba, is the son of Joan Johansson, an anti-poverty activist and former Green Party of Manitoba candidate, and Robert Johansson, a former Winnipeg city councillor. He worked at New World Technology for five years, and has been a supervisor at Southern Produce since the early 2000s decade. According to a Winnipeg Free Press article, he chose to campaign in the 2006 election out of concern for the health of Lake Winnipeg and the Red River. 26, he received 1,700 votes, 3.84%, finishing fourth against Conservative incumbent Stephen Fletcher. Topic: <laughs> Jeff Fountain Churchill. Fountain holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Biology and Environmental Science from the University of Winnipeg. 
He has worked as an operator trainee with INCO, and previously taught English as a second language in Japan Winnipeg Free Press, 3 January 2006. Fountain has reached Nidan rank in Judo and Kendo, is a brown belt in Jujutsu, and teaches wrestling in Thompson, 27. He received 401 votes, 1.61%, finishing fifth against Liberal candidate Tina Keeper. Topic: <laughs> Tanya Hutter, Elmwood, Transcona. Tanya Hutter has a Bachelor of Arts degree in International Relations, Political Science and German from the University of Manitoba, and works as a researcher, writer, editor and web designer. She has been web editor for Canada's National History Society and The Beaver, and was an associate editor for the Encyclopedia of Natural Health. She received 1,211 votes 3.63%, finishing fourth against New Democratic Party incumbent Bill Blakey. <laughs> Charlie Howitt Portage. Lisgar. Howitt holds an agriculture degree from the University of Manitoba. He was 25 years old as of the 2006 election, working in a family farm business with his father and grandfather. The family enterprise grows grain and forages, and raises hogs. Howitt has argued that farmers can reverse a recent trend toward rural decline by adopting environmentally sound policies. He is active with the Pembina Soil and Crop Management Association, and often performs as a guitarist. 28. Howitt defended the Canadian Wheat Board in the 2006 campaign, and criticized the packing industry for profiteering during Western Canada's BSE crisis. 29. He received 1,880 votes in 2006, finishing fourth against Conservative incumbent Brian Pallister. Topic Janine Gibson Provencher Gibson was educated at the University of Manitoba and the University of Winnipeg, and has worked as an independent organic inspector since 1993. She is president of Canadian Organic Growers, and has worked toward the adoption of a national organic standard for Canada Winnipeg Free Press, 4 February and 8 June 2004, Globe and Mail, 21 April 2005. Gibson teaches other inspectors through the Independent Organic Inspectors Association. 30. She lives in a solar and wind powered village known as Northern Sun Farm Cooperative in southeastern Manitoba, and attracted national attention during the 2005 06 campaign when she was forced to live without electricity for 22 days in a period of cloudy skies and mild winds. Gibson cited global warming as being responsible for the weather patterns, though she also claims the lack of electricity did not seriously affect her campaign schedule. Global warming broadcast news, the 17th of January 2006, 31. She supported Tom Manley for the leadership of the Green Party in 2004. 32. Topic. Mark Payette Street, Boniface Payette has a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Manitoba, and is a graduate of Red River College's Communication Engineering Technology Program. He was employed for many years with Via Rail, and has been a meteorological technician for Environment Canada in Saskatchewan, Ontario and the Northwest Territories. Since 1997, he has worked as a programmer analyst at St. Boniface College in Winnipeg. 
Payette became president of the Manitoba Government and General Employees Union Local 147 in January 2003, and has volunteered for Festival du Voyageur, the Winnipeg Folk Festival and Big Brothers Big Sisters of Winnipeg, 33, 34. The 2006 election was his second as a candidate. In 2002, Payette wrote a letter to the editor in the Winnipeg Free Press endorsing wind power and solar power as energy sources WFP, 4 July 2002. <laughs> David Michael Carey, Winnipeg North Carey has served in the Canadian military, and holds diploma certification as a welder, fitter and an aircraft maintenance engineer. He moved to Manitoba from Ontario in the early 2000s decade, and worked for Air Canada at the time of the election, Winnipeg Free Press, 2 January 2006. He was planning to build an eco-friendly rammed earth tire home. In 2006, 35, he received 779 votes, 2.86%, finishing fourth against New Democratic Party incumbent Judy Wazilishalays. He campaigned for the leadership of the Green Party of Manitoba in November 2006 and lost to Andrew Basham. Topic. Wesley Owen Whiteside, Winnipeg South Whiteside was 26 years old at the time of the election, Winnipeg Sunday 15 January 2006 36, and according to a Green Party biography has lived in Winnipeg for his entire life. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Politics and Administrative Studies from the University of Winnipeg, and is working toward the completion of a Bachelor of Laws degree from the University of Manitoba as of early 2006. He plans to article with the Manitoba government after his graduation. 37. Whiteside also volunteers with the Royal Canadian Air Cadet Program as an officer in the reserves. 38. He received 1,289 votes, 3.08%, finishing fourth against Conservative Rod Bruinuge. Topic. Veer H. Scott, Winnipeg South Center Scott has studied agriculture at the University of Manitoba, and is a retired wildlife biologist. During the 1980s, he served on the Provincial Minister of the Environment's Advisory Committee concerning mosquito control and other matters. He is a veteran environmental activist in Winnipeg, and encouraged composting in the early 1990s. Scott was a founding member of the Green Party of Manitoba, and has served as the party's policy expert. He co-authored the Manitoba Clean Environment Commission's hearings into the city of Winnipeg's polluting sewage collection and treatment system in 2003, and in the 2006 campaign called for cities to stop dumping their sewage treated or not into river systems. Topic: Saskatchewan. Topic: Rick Barsky, Saskatoon, Rosetown, Big R. Barsky ran in the federal election of 1993 in Canada for election to the House of Commons of Canada as a candidate for Mel Hertig's National Party of Canada. He ran again in the federal election of 1997 for the Canadian Action Party, and was a candidate for the Legislative Assembly of Saskatchewan in 1999 for the New Green Alliance. 
More recently, Rick was the candidate in Saskatoon Rosetown Bigar for the Green Party of Canada in the federal elections of 2004 and 2006. Topic: External links. Rick Barsky's biography. Topic: Don Cameron, Saskatoon, Winuskewin. Cameron was born in northeastern Saskatchewan and attended the University of Saskatchewan. He moved to Ottawa to accept a job in the federal civil service, and later opened a consulting firm. 39. His campaign emphasized attacks on junk food to combat the rising health care expenditures. Saskatoon Star Phoenix, 9 January 2006. He received 1,292 votes, 3.59%, finishing fourth against Conservative incumbent Morris Vellacott. Topic: Alberta. Topic: Juliet Burgess, Calgary. Nose Hill. At 18 years of age, Juliet was the youngest candidate running in this election. Burgess is a born and raised Calgarian, an activist and arts worker. She worked with the Rock the Vote Youth Action Committee, spoke for the decriminalization of marijuana and sex work, advocated for more public transit investments in Calgary. Burgess ran the following year in the Alberta provincial election for the Alberta Greens and has continued to be a social advocate, presently working as a social worker with survivors of domestic violence and LGBTQ2S plus populations. Topic. Kim Warnke, Calgary Southwest Warren K is a lifelong resident of Calgary, and was listed as 24 years old at the time of the election. She had six years experience on the Calgary Health Authority, and spent a year on the Emergency Department Advisory Board as a representative of nursing attendants. 40. Warren K has criticized Canada's first past the post electoral system, and rejects the accusation that the Green Party was responsible for vote splitting on the left in the 2004 federal election. 41. Warren K. argued for expanded mass transit services in the 2004 provincial election. 42. In the 2006 campaign, she argued that Alberta needs to use its oil revenues wisely to benefit future generations, and was quoted as saying, We don't want Alberta to be without oil like Atlantic Canada without cod. Calgary Herald, 21 December 2005. On September 30, 2006, Warren K. was elected as Deputy Leader South for the Alberta Greens. 43. <laughs> Lynn Lau Edmonton. Sherwood Park Lin Lau campaign web page Topic British Columbia Topic Karen Boya Okanagan Kikihala Boya is a mother of three who was born and raised in the Kootenays. She graduated from the University of British Columbia and now works for an e-learning company. GPC Riding Profile Topic. Phil Breen S. Skeena. Bulkley Valley 
Breenes is a 32-year-old retail manager. He has served on the town of Smithers, British Columbia Planning and Design Committee since 2002 and was a director of the Smithers Chamber of Commerce between 2004 and 2005. GPC Riding Profile Topic: <laughs> Alex Bracewell, Caribou, Prince George Bracewell is a politician and eco-tourism businessman in West Chilkerton, near Williams Lake, British Columbia. He was elected Director of Electoral Area J in the Caribou Regional District in 2002, and acclaimed in 2005. He was born in Williams Lake but raised in nearby Tatlioko Lake Valley. GPC Riding Profile Topic: Hillary Crowley, Prince George, Peace River. Crowley is a retired physiotherapist from Prince George, British Columbia. She ran unsuccessfully in the 2000 and 2004 federal elections in this riding. GPC riding profile. Topic: Matt Greenwood, Kamloops, Thompson, Caribou. Greenwood is a 25-year-old university student, born in Vancouver and raised in Kamloops. He is working towards a bachelor's degree with a double major in political science and economics, and a minor in philosophy, at Thompson Rivers University. He helped found the Kamloops chapter of the BC Sustainable Energy Association. GPC Riding Profile Topic. Scott Jansen, Burnaby, New Westminster. Jansen is a Green Party politician in Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada. He graduated from the University of Saskatchewan with degrees in electrical engineering and computer science. Campaign website. GPC riding profile. Topic: Ariel Laid, Victoria. Ariel Laid, B. 1975 in White Rock, is a green politician and economist in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. He has earned a master's degree in economics and philosophy at the London School of Economics and toured Eastern Europe. Laid majored in economics and political science at University of Victoria. He earned a master's degree in economics and philosophy at the London School of Economics. GPC riding profile Topic: <laughs> Scott Leyland, British Columbia Southern Interior. Leyland is a 55-year-old physiotherapist from Trail, British Columbia. He also works as a clinical instructor at the University of British Columbia's School of Rehabilitation Sciences. GPC Riding Profile Topic: <laughs> Harry Nagel, Okanagan, Shuswap. Nagel is a horticultural consultant, contractor. He ran unsuccessfully in the 1997, 2000 and 2004 federal elections in the Okanagan, Kakihala riding. Has run in every federal, provincial and municipal election since 1993. GPC riding profile Topic: Clements Verhoeven, Kootenay, Columbia. 
Verhoeven is a 52-year-old born and raised in London, Ontario. He is a high school teacher in Creston, British Columbia. He is bilingual and a published novelist. GPC Riding Profile Footnotes <laughs>